Turning out of politics and Tuesday's important midterm elections, especially the battle for control of the Senate, President Obama is out on the campaign trail, but he's not visiting some key battleground states. Juliana Goldman is in our Washington bureau with more on that. Good morning, Juliana. Good morning. With three days to go before Tuesday's midterm elections, it's all about turnout. And President Obama is trying to brush off his low approval ratings and reach out to the Democratic Party faithful in states he won in 2008 and 2012. But none are the battleground races that will determine control of the Senate. President Obama was all treats last night, handing out candy and taking a break from the trail. But for his fellow Democrats, the scariest part of the season isn't ghosts or goblins, it's the polling and the possibility that they could lose control of Congress. So the president is making a final campaign swing this weekend to get his party's base to the polls, especially female voters. We believe that America is stronger when women are full and equal participants in the economy. Yesterday he was in Rhode Island. Today he'll campaign in Michigan, and tomorrow he'll be rallying voters in Connecticut and Pennsylvania. He's steering clear of states like Louisiana, North Carolina, and Colorado, where incumbent Democrats, desperate to keep their seats, have been trying to distance themselves from the unpopular president. A million of Americans don't yet feel the benefits of a growing economy where it matters most, and that's in their own lives. You know, there's still a lot of folks who are working hard but having trouble making ends meet. President Obama isn't on the ballot this year, but his policies are. The latest CBS News poll shows that 59% of Republicans say their vote for Congress will be a vote against him. The president's approval rating is 39%, just five points higher than former President George W. Bush's before the 2006 midterms, when his Republican Party lost control of the House and Senate. In a sign of just how unpopular the president is, by Sunday he will have attended seven rallies for candidates running this year. In 2010, the president headlined 17 rallies, and that was when his party suffered what he himself called a shellacking, with Democrats losing control of the House. Vanita? Juliana Goldman in Washington, thank you.